major blow to French President Francois Hollande now, with his Socialist Party set for heavy losses in local elections. According to exit polls, the centre-right alliance led by his predecessor, Nicolas Sarkozy, has scored a resounding victory. The anti-immigration National Front Party also made major gains as well. And this is how party leader Marine Le Pen reacted to the results. The verdict des urnes is aujourd'hui sans appel. The Parti Socialiste est laminé, disparaît de la carte dans de très nombreux départements, tandis que le Front National et le Rassemblement Bleu Marine obtiennent des résultats exceptionnels un peu partout. Ces élections départementales sont une étape cruciale pour le mouvement patriote sur le chemin du pouvoir. The National Front Party has risen dramatically since Marine Le Pen took the helm. It strongly opposes uncontrolled immigration and the Islamization of France, while also pushing for an EU exit as well. All this with the French presidential elections two years away now. Well, let's discuss the elections. Uh, we're going to bring in Pierre Galain. He's a professor of political science at Paris West University. So, hello, Chisa. Thank you for coming on RT International today. Welcome to the programme. Um, so, are you surprised by these election results? Well, actually, not really a surprise because all opinion polls predicted more or less uh, this kind of situation. Uh, in fact, the polls predicted an even wider victory for the National Front. So uh, I guess today they did well, but there's a, a sense of dissatisfaction all the same because they won in no single department. Department. So it is a major victory, but not as huge as was anticipated for them. Do you think Hollande can recover from this? Well, you know, in politics, you can never uh, say what's going to happen uh, even a week in advance. A week is a long time in politics, said a, a famous British politician. So you can never know. Because now we have three major blocks in France. The uh, National Front, the right, the traditional right, and the left around the Socialist Party. And we don't know how this game is going to be played out in two years' time. But it looks, uh, today, it looks very bad for Hollande and the Socialist Party, of course. And why is this happening? Why is the political landscape of France changing? And why is the National Front gaining momentum then? Well, one reason is that Hollande was elected on a left-wing platform and immediately uh, implemented uh, policies that corresponded, economic policies that corresponded more to the right. So he's doing the policy uh, of the right. And a lot of people who supported him are dissatisfied. That's one factor. The other factor is that there is a crisis affecting uh, the poor, low middle class people. They feel they've tried the right, they've tried the left, nothing works, so they want something new. And therefore, they, uh, they project that dissatisfaction onto immigrants or, in some cases, onto Europe. And Europe is not helping by not adopting policies that would help. Uh, people lower down the scale. Well, well, let's talk about Europe as well, because as we know, uh, France is not the only country where the right parties are gaining um, influence. So we're going to have a look as well at a map just here for the sake of the viewers. So we've got alternative parties going on, like uh, Alternative for Germany. There's the Finns as well. They're gaining voters. Um, do you think, though, with what you've just said, that this trend is set to continue? Well, there is definitely a protest vote in many European countries. But in some European countries like Greece or Spain, the protest vote is on the left. You have people who are dissatisfied because Europe is not helping them in their daily life. So they don't understand the difficult negotiations, uh, the treaties and so on. But they look at the situation and they feel it's not improving. So when they're in, in Spain, they uh, vote against their government, which is a right-wing government. When they're in France, they are tempted by the right. And in Germany, uh, it's a so-called soft right, so there's a, a more radical party, which is not as strong as the National Front in France. Mm -hmm. So a search for change, whether it be right or left, seems to be going on. But I want to ask you, in your personal opinion, we've got the French presiden presidential elections. They're coming up in two years now. Uh, who's your pick? Do you think Marine Le Pen, do you think she has a shot? Is that a realistic option? Well, as you as you know, you know it's an election that takes place in two rounds. The first round you have all the candidates. Second round, two candidates only. And I think uh, the National Front has a good chance of being one of the two for the second ballot, second round. But still, it is unlikely. And the results of this election seem to indicate that if it's the right and the National Front, the right will still win.
So she'll be there uh, probably for the second round. But as this thing stand now, it's not likely she will be elected. OK, indeed, sir. Thank you for your thoughts. We appreciate that. Well, Thank you for your time today. Pierre Legain, very much uh, Professor of Political Science at Paris West University. Thank you, sir.